How's it going everyone? Well, to start off Augs in August, we're going to be doing some AUG upgrades. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, this is a sponsored video. Gearhead Works uh, is going to start us off for our AUGs in August. So, uh, they've supplied a few parts. If you is the receiver carrier lug, which holds your AUG together, which is also set up to take a QD quick release mount. So, if you guys are tired of running your two-point slings and having the mount go in the front of your A3M1 and get tied up around the charging handle or have to flip it over through the optic and get hung up in your hand, this is gonna be a cool upgrade for us that aren't running flat top receivers with the QD mounts in them. So, we're gonna go over this. Uh, when you guys get your package, granted I've taken this one out already, uh, normally it comes in a uh, cellophane envelope. Your uh, lock will be here inside. It does not come with a QD mount. This is actually on your gun or you'll have to buy another one. When you open it up, it has a brief description uh, for directions on how to install the spring and a seven step on how to do it. But we're gonna make it a little bit simpler. I'll show you how to do it uh, here in a tabletop review. So all you're gonna need is a small flat blade screwdriver. First of all, you guys are gonna need to start off uh, with your AUG unloaded, pull the mag out of it. As you can see, this one's done. We'll check the bolt. We're good to go. Go ahead and lock the bolt carrier to the back, pull your barrel, and go ahead and release the bolt carrier forward. That way it doesn't jump out in your hand. You're gonna need to hold the front of your AUG and push out the button through the opposite side of the receiver lock. It makes a pop and the spring load's going to push forward on the receiver. Go ahead and pull the whole unit and your carrier group out. Set it off to the side. And now getting into this. Depending if you want this to be a left-handed or right-handed setup, uh, one for your case deflection, if you're using the standard AUG, if you're using the NATO version, you're only gonna be right-handed. So make sure that you pay attention when you pull this spring out when I show it to you on uh, which side that this release button's gonna go on to. With the new one from Gearhead Works, it actually has a stop in it here on the back side, so it only will push through on one side. With having the QD mount, you don't have to worry about this being jerked through or getting hung up inside your trigger bars, which I'll show you here shortly. Alrighty, with your flat blade, the simplest way to do this is go ahead and push the button out through the other side and then push it back in just a hair. So you'll actually have a dead spot and you'll feel it catch where it kind of gets tension on that little spring. You need it to still be loose. So once that's done, you take your flat blade screwdriver and you'll see a little clip spring right here. All you need to do is pick it up and push it to the inside. And get this one here done. Smaller the screwdriver, the better. And then just push it up and over. Let's see, get this one to go here. Once you've pushed it up and over, you'll see it released. I'll try to catch this on camera. You guys can see it's released. And it's sitting inside. There's a little ledge right there. Now all you have to do is just pull the button and the spring will come out the other side as a complete unit. Don't worry if you've pulled this out and it hit the floor. I'm going to show you exactly how it goes back in. But we're going to show on this, on the factory AUG, you can actually see it has a shelf window. And this is a side that the long slide spring goes onto with the short claw. So it doesn't matter if you want to install this or reverse this in your gun already uh, to set up an opposite side for like a left-handed uh, takedown. That's all you would need to do. But let's compare the two mounts. Um, it's basically the same cutout. We'll try to take this one around. It's got a little bit heavier of a shelf on the lug. 
and this one is aluminum where the styro one is polymer. They both have your guide rails. The aluminum one, of course, it has some better knurling here where it's machined on the face instead of the polymer where it was ejection molded. But the big difference is this ledge right here on the side of it. This is so it does not get shoved all the way through the gun. So when you set this up with your QD mount, make sure you have it set for which side you want your single point sling to go on. If you want it to be on the inside on the bolt release or on the outside if you're right-handed for your ejection. Uh, for me, I'm gonna set this up on the inside for the QD mount to be on the inside with my bolt release. So, we'll get this going. Do remember, like I said, there's a little shelf and a groove right here. This spring only goes in that way. You're gonna set it all the way up here in the front. There's the little shelf on the spring. It goes right up against the front. It'll look like this. And inside your AUG, now when you go to stick this in, do be careful, and I'll just see if I can catch this for you guys here on camera. Let's see if I can roll it here. Hold on guys, I'm trying to roll it around so you can see it. Okay guys, you can see those little silver lines inside. That is actually your trigger bars. So when you're looking on the inside, you're just gonna look like a T on each side here. And it doesn't matter on either side, you can see it, but your trigger bars are those silver rods on the inside. When you stick this over, you need to make sure very, very carefully that you don't jam this or if it doesn't want to fit real easily, take yourself a minute it, you know, to maneuver it in. Don't bend or jam up those trigger bars. Okay, so with this going in, we're going to invert this to make it a little bit easier. Now, sometimes I start the pin, just set it inside, and then take the spring, and you can push it through. Let me get this here to line up. Alright, see how it starts going in? You can push this through, you're going to feel it go through. It's going to go down here, and then you just need to push in. Now you may have to work from the opposite side. It helps a little bit. Let me push this back here. You may have to push up on the spring to get it to go over the trigger bars. But once you see in here where it starts going over the trigger bar, you're actually going to see the foot start to come in over this ledge. And then all you need to do is push it forward. If you want to, you can take the flat blade screwdriver and you can push on the back side of the spring with still the release button halfway out. You're going to hear it click. Just make sure it jumped on this side. And then with the pin inside, you can push it forward a few times. It's going to be tight due to the spring and this one being aluminum. The tolerance is, you know, the polymer kind of flexes and the aluminum is real stiff. But that is how you set up your QD single point sling mount from Gearhead Works. So with that set in now, if you have your QD mount, you can set it here. It locks. Make sure you get a good placement and now you can rotate it and it's stuck on there and you can rotate this whichever way you need to for it to go. Now, with your QD mount installed, you cannot pull the receiver apart. You will have to pull the pin, and then it's just a simple pop it through. All right, let's put the AUG back together and give it a try. Make sure your pin's pulled. We'll go ahead and set the bolt carrier and the receiver all in as one unit. Remember, it is spring-loaded, so you're going to have to push on it. All right, it's all the way through, and we'll reinstall the barrel. All and there's your QD mount.
for a single point. Or you can actually run it as a dual point and you can move this on to the front, back into its normal position wherever you need to, or have for a three point sling if you want. All right guys, well there it is. Uh, you can actually get these parts from Gearhead Works. They're right on their website. They're not overly expensive. It is a cool upgrade to do uh, if you're wanting to get rid of the hang up with a, with a sling going around the charge handle. So we're going to run this one. I'll give you guys an update after we have it. If you want to check it out and see one in person, uh, you can come out this August the 15th to Royal Range USA. You can actually meet the guys from Gearhead Works, talk to them, ask them any other questions. Maybe if I didn't cover one, you know exactly the tolerances or the machining uh, material it's done out of. Guys, I know it's aluminum, but I can't tell you, you know, if it's extruded or bar stock or billet aluminum, it's it's aluminum. You can ask them those direct questions. But uh, we're gonna give it a whirl and try. If you guys wanna come shoot this AUG and try it out for yourself, uh, come on out, come shoot. We're gonna do a whole bunch of giveaways and have a whole fun day on Saturday. Alrighty guys.